In this video, let us understand how to write EMI calculator. So we are using VB.NET with Visual Studio here. And I'll show you all the code step by step how to write this program in Visual Studio. So you can learn this and then you can try yourself. Definitely you could able to write this program yourself. And particularly you are into business, if you are into loan and you want to calculate EMI, you can make your own way this calculator and you can always find what is an EMI for the particular loan with the particular interest rate. So as we discussed this, and, uh, this code we will write now in Visual Basic. And here is the formula for EMI. So where E is equal to P into R into 1 plus R to the power of N uh, divided by 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1. So where E is EMI, P is the principal amount, R is the rate of interest and then N is the number of months. So if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribing is very easy. So below that you can see the channel name and then just click subscribe button. And this subscribe is free actually. You don't need to pay anything. And even whenever you don't know, you can unsubscribe also. And if you like the video, you can click like. And you want to say something to us, please write it in the comment box. And um, you can also share this video with your friends who are uh, needy or who want to learn coding and all. Please share this video with them. And this our channel is particularly very useful for all the CS students. Because we have a lot of videos here. I'll just show you what are the kinds of videos we are having here. And then later, I'll show you like how to write it in a Visual Studio. So, if you right click and you open this iBlix tutorials, and then if you click videos, you can see that uh, the videos over here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, project videos, and also you can learn C Sharp here and VB.NET project. Like, you no, know, we explained like how to do VB.NET project here, how to do C Sharp project over here, and then a lot of Python examples and VB.NET projects, C Sharp project, ESP.NET projects. So we have explained many projects here. Whenever you have a time, so please come over here and then browse. Probably you definitely will be interested in one or the other one. After watching each video, you can try to build the application. So this will definitely help for your future job and also interview. Like you can able to answer the questions. A lot of things you will get the benefit. So please watch them. And if you want to say something to us, please write it in the comment box. Let me know what you are thinking. Now let us start with... Uh, Visual Studio and let us start like how to write the EMI calculator. So I'll start Visual Studio here, Visual Studio 2019. So this is a community edition, it's a free edition. You can download from Microsoft website. We have a video here in our channel like how to download. So if you're not yet installed, please check that video. And here you need to go to create a new project. Right, so here you, you need to write Visual Basic, therefore you just type Visual Basic here. Then you have to select Visual Basic and then it should be a .NET Framework. Okay? So you need to select .NET Framework and this is the Windows and this is for the desktop. You need to select this one and then you have to say Next. And here you have to give the name, what is your project name. So therefore I can give EMI Calculator. And where you would like to save this project. So therefore you need to browse. Uh, let me save it in D drive. So I just go to VB project. So here I can uh, make a one more folder card as EMI. I'll, I'll, I'll save inside this. Okay, Select the folder. So this EMI calculator comes under the EMI folder. And here is the framework. There are different frameworks are available. You want to distribute, maybe you can use a lower framework. Probably this one may be in every system it is available. Depends on the installation but better to use the 4.6 or the recent one so depend on like you know whether they can able to install the uh, this particular framework because in order to execute this they require a framework in other system uh, when you install visual studio definitely you'll have this framework then they, you don't have any problem so let it be 4.6 now uh, i'll going to create this project yeah it's done now now you can see that this is a form here. First thing I do is I'll go to change the color of this background. Uh, let it be changed to some light color. Okay. Fine. Now it's changed and then I'll go to change the title. So here is EMI calculator. Then uh, we need to change the font here. So therefore I just go to font. So this font size is 8.58 is actually. 
so let me make it 14 and here uh, okay let it be 16 done so now our form is ready and we can resize the form what size you want okay let it be like this so it's a EMI calculator so first we require a label so therefore go to toolbox so here we have toolbox then here is a label so take the label so then what is the label name so the label text you have to go to label text here so this is the loan amount right so we want one more just you can copy this control v and control v to paste control c control v then this is the interest Our rate of interest and then control V again and this is months how many months then EMI so I should show me the EMI so this is EMI per month so let's call it the interest rate now we record a text box so here is a text box i just take the text box i'll keep it on screen so again you can see control c control v you can use kumba box also otherwise we providing now only text boxes so then record one more so let's go here so this one enabled is equal to false we don't need to type anything over there so when you click the button it should show me the EMI. So you record button, so therefore take a button and then you can see calculate. So this I want to bring it down, so select the two and this you have to call it as a calculate. Therefore select the button and then you write calculate. Now we need to write the code over here. So this is a text box 1, text box 2, text box 3 and then click calculate. So here is the calculate, right? So let's have a three variable uh, dim loan amount L amount. Then interest rate. Then months as so you don't have float here. Okay, let me take this decimal. So three variables. Now you can say loan amount. So that is equal to. So this is a text box one dot text. So now you want to convert this into decimal value. So therefore you can write decimal dot parse. So we can pass the value that means we can convert to decimal values right so this is the interest rate next one is months okay so this is a text box 2 and this is text box 3 now again you require one more card as a emi so therefore i'll take emi here emi var so therefore this emi var is equal to loan amount okay so this is a loan amount into interest rate into then you have open bracket then you can have one more open bracket okay so here you can see on the top you have power right so therefore you can write power so that is math dot power so here check out the formula uh, the formula is 1 plus r to the power of n so therefore this is 1 plus r that is interest rate interest rate okay so i'll use one more bracket over here So comma 
So months, okay, how many months? Okay, so sometime if you press the tab key, uh, it'll... so this is months. So why confusion, uh, you can change to period, okay, months, it's okay. Not a problem, let it be months only. So this is power, okay. Then uh, divided by, so same thing. minus 1 then you can have one more bracket here so you need to care uh, take care like you have proper parenthesis so this will close over here and we have one more here so therefore you need to have one more no yeah it's correct it is inside inside one so it's here and the outside one it matches with this one. Okay, so this is math dot power. That is one plus interest rate. Uh, interest rate. Okay, so now you can see that automatically is changed to small letter and capital letter. Now this value has to go to the text box four. So therefore you can write text box four dot text is equal to EMI var. And uh, EMI var. So we can round it up. So therefore you can write math dot round. And we don't want decimal places, so therefore you can use the comma here, zero comma zero. So now it is done. I'll save everything. I'll want to run this project. Right. So you can see that here it is. So loan amount, let's say one lakh rupees. Then interest rate is uh, ten percent. Uh, for 60 months, so then if you could calculate, are you getting is wrong actually? Okay, so why wrong? So because of this interest rate, okay, interest rate is per month. You need to calculate per month, and also that is a percentage of it. So interest rate is percentage. Therefore, you write interest rate that is equal to uh, interest rate divided by 12 into 100. So for this is 1200. 12 into 100. 100 is a percentage, okay? 1 by 100. So, therefore, is a 12 is a 12 months. So, so now it is 1 lakh 10 percent, uh, 60 months, so 5 years. So, you will get 2125 is the your monthly EMI. And if you want to find out, like, what is the total amount you pay? After, uh, with 60 months that also we can calculate uh, for that you required one more uh, okay so this is the total uh, interest we'll take first so this is a total interest and then total amount Total amount is after the end actually. So this is 6, this is 5. So how do you find the total interest? So if you multiply this monthly EMI into 60, you will get the total amount. So that is minus of loan amount will give the your interest. So therefore, uh, here you can write so this is text 5 and then this is text 6 so here it is 5 and here it is 6 now EMI var into uh, months actually how many months so that will give the total money you are supposed to pay I think this has to come over here right ok this is the total amount has to come over here so therefore I can copy this I can paste it over here then so here this what this minus of this loan amount so therefore multiply by this minus loan amount minus loan amount will give the 
So what is the total interest you have to pay? Okay, so even it is there in the top also, no problem. So let it be there here only. So now save everything and then run. So now it's 1 lakh rupees, 10% and then let me say 60, calculate. So 2125 is the your EMI and uh, you need to pay totally by by end of six, 60 months, what is the total money you will going to pay? You will going to pay 1 lakh 27,482. So the for 27,482 is the interest. That means if you collect 1 lakh rupees now, after 60 months, or if you keep on paying 2125 as a monthly, then you will end up with 27,482 as a interest. And these were the total money you supposed to pay back. Okay, so this is the logic. And uh, this code is available in our website. Uh, so we provide a uh, link in the description. Please check it out. Otherwise, it's easy. Now you know like how to write. So please try this. Okay. And also please subscribe to our channel. So as I told, we'll keep coming with lot of videos so if you subscribe you'll know like what are the videos we're coming up and you can always learn from our channel thank you very much